Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. And today we're going to talk about finding rights-free photos online. There are some tools that can help you search for them, find them quickly, and these are photos that are copyright-free uh, or maybe have partial restrictions on them uh, where you can uh, get them for free uh, and use them rights-free so you won't get sued for stealing someone's photo off of a website and using it. Um, so there are three tools uh, that I'm going to talk about and then uh, so also some stock photo databases where they have a mixture of, of free and uh, paid uh, photos and icons. I mean, you also can Google the term uh, free stock photos or free icons uh, if you're looking for icons, maybe for a map or something like that. Um, you can also find uh, resources on our journalisttoolbox.org page. Uh, we have a photojournalism page there. It also lists a lot of things about uh, photos, rights-free photos. Uh, we have a copyright section as well. Um, uh, always, you know, especially if you're uh, teaching journalism, uh, be very careful in working with students uh, on photos you can and cannot use and so they understand copyright law. Um, so uh, plenty of uh, resources here. Journalisttoolbox.org is housed at the Society of Professional Journalists, spj.org. So let's start with our first tool here. This is Google Image Search. These links can be found in the uh, description area right underneath this video, so you can just click on the links if you want to follow along. Uh, the Google Image Search, images.google.com, uh, most of you probably looked for a photo in here um, before and uh, you know, just uh, poking around on the web. And I'm going to type in Mount Rushmore just so you can uh, uh, kind of see the interface you get here. There's all these photos of Mount Rushmore listed here. Um, you can click on these and, you know, it shows uh, where they came from, you know, New York Times, you know, copyright photo, National Public Radio, probably an AP or copyright photo, uh, People Magazine, probably a, another copyright photo. But if you want to uh, filter out all the photos that are copyright and only look at photos that ha are rights free, you can do that by clicking on Tools. <laughs> Go to Usage Rights. And in the pull-down menu, it lists all of the licenses right here. Go down to Labeled for Reuse with Modification. That is the most liberal of all of the uh, licenses. Uh, that means you can uh, use it pretty much anywhere. You can edit it. You can uh, crop it. You can turn it into a meme, a GIF, you know, whatever you wanted to do. Um, uh, yeah, you name it, you can use it pretty much any way you want. Um, always credit where the photo came from, the author of the photo, and you can often find that, you know, wherever the source is, you know, uh, this nps.gov page, you know, if it has a credit there. If not, at the very least, I credit uh, either Wikimedia or, you know, the web page or site it came from. Um, and, you know, here are all the rights-free photos you can take uh, and, and use uh, on your website. And then, you know, there's some decent shots here, you know, some... Uh, uh, fake ones here, uh, you know, somebody mocked up the other side of Mount Rushmore. <laughs> um, so you have some really interesting photos you can take and use rights free and no worries about being sued. You can also filter by type of photo if you wanted something that's more clip art or GIF files. Uh, by size if you're looking for an icon or a larger medium or smaller photo. Um, and, and also by uh, uh, time when the uh, photo was published if I only wanted uh, photos from the past year, you know, I could filter that out uh, if I wanted something more recent of Mount Rushmore. So that's images.google.com, google.com slash images. Uh, you can also use it for fact-checking photos um, and uh, real handy, uh, you know, you can right-click on a photo and use a pull-down menu to say search on Google Images uh, or I can take, you know, this photo, this is a fake photo that I had out my desktop of a Shark swimming down the streets of New Jersey during Hurricane Sandy. It's a famous photo of a shark, and it's a fake photo. And you can reverse image search and see if the photo uh, has been, uh, where it's been posted and when it's been posted. Um, and it helps for fact-checking photos. It's a little perk with Google Image Search. Another tool for finding rights-free photos is Creative Commons, creativecommons.org. Great little website. You can set up licenses for your own uh, 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 photos and your own content on your website uh, or you can uh, uh, go in and search a huge database of photos uh, to see if you can get rights free images. Um, up here at the top of the home page of Creative Commons uh, it has search for CC images 
And here I can, I want something I can modify or adapt or, you know, use commercially. I can select both. And that's, again, the most liberal license. Um, and let's say I'm looking for a photo of uh, Rahm Emanuel, the former mayor of Chicago and former White House aide to President Obama. Uh, and there it kicks back a few photos. And these are all rights free. I could take and crop these um, and uh, use them any which way uh, I please. You know, so you've got some nice... Uh, stock photos of Rahm Emanuel. You can hit load more results, and uh, like any search engine, you know, as you start digging down, the uh, results start to you know kind of kind of thin out. You start to get a lot of other things in here, but you know, a lot of photos of Rahm, and you know, there's some great photography on here. You know, some very talented amateur uh, photographers who produce uh, 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 this work and, and put it up on the web uh, under a Creative Commons license. If you're interested in the licenses, you can also uh, go through and, and select them here. Or go to the home page. And set up your own licenses. Uh, I do that with some of my websites so people know if they can take and use the content. Wikimedia Commons is another very deep archive of uh, uh, photos. Uh, you can go up here and if I'm looking for maybe the basketball player Michael Jordan, the former Bull, it lists them right here. There's Michael Jordan, the basketball player. There's Michael B. Jordan, the actor. Uh, and then, you know, some other photos here. Jordan golfing, and as you dig around through here, you might see a few from his playing days and uh, other photos here. I mean, you know, he's playing with, uh, God forbid, the Washington Wizards and uh, some of these other places. So um, there's a lot of uh, uh, things you can search for here. You know, people's names, uh, you know, topics, uh, broad topics, you know, football, basketball, baseball, uh, you know, government officials' names, all kinds of uh, different photos here. There's also what we call a mixture uh, of stock photo sites like PicWizard or, you know, here's another one, Shutterstock uh, is another one um, that offer what we call free stock photos. And they mean free, they mean rights free. So you can get uh, a combination of results here. And I typed in the word football here uh, and it gave me, you know, photos. It says powered by Adobe here and it's premium. Um, so, you know, it's really cool image, which I could take and layer, you know, uh, text over um, would be really, really, really cool. Um, this one uh, has a standard license that you have to buy uh, in order to download and uh, use this image. Um, it's done through Adobe Stock uh, Images. So, you know, those require a fee, and some of them can get, you know, pretty pricey from time to time. Uh, as you scroll down the page, though, you can find other photos that don't have premium marked on them. Uh, that you can just go in and you can just download these. And usually they have, you know, a little text link over here on the side that has a cut line and a credit, um, a link to the image, um, uh, you know, download here. You can also do some cropping and editing on the image in here. Um, so, you know, all kinds of uh, different ways to uh, download or to use this uh, football image. And, you know, there's plenty of images there. Uh, as you scroll down through here, some really good ones, you know, uh, this uh, kind of artsy stuff, uh, you know, stock images like that, but also action photos from college and, and high school uh, games. You'll see a few pro uh, photos in here as well. Notice when you type in football, sometimes, you know, the search engine is literal. Uh, it will take it to mean soccer as well. Uh, so, you know, that's PickWizard, a uh, really good one, PickWizard.com. It's uh, P-I-K, uh, a little different spelling to it. Um, so... That is the basics of searching for photos online. Uh, Google Image Search, creativecommons.org, Wikimedia Commons, PickWizard, Shutterstock, or you can, again, you can just Google free stock photos or free icons. That's all we had for now. Have a good one.